Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today for we are for Spooktober we are doing a story that's been around for a while. This photo is the last photo taken of this young boy. Damien Godson, before his death in 1979, said the character actor never said a word. He just came, put his arm on Damien's shoulder like he was preparing for a picture. But it only gets weirder, because where they met him was outside of the theme park. You would think, well, maybe he's just a employee of the park. No. What we know, is, well, the park itself said it didn't hire these character actors. It wasn't like a Disney or other theme parks. It was an amusement park with rides, food, games, but there was no character actors like this. Let's delve into this story a little deeper. I do have uh, things open. First, we do have a little information on it from Reddit. This is on the Mr. Ballin Reddit from Psychological Shop 91. He says in 79 a, in Sydney, Australia, John and Je Jenny Godson spent a fun day out with their two young sons, Damien and Craig. They visited the famous Taronga Zoo before going to Luna Park, a very popular theme park in Sydney, Australia, which first opened back in 1935. After spending the majority of their ride tickets, the Godson family had four tickets left and decided to use them on the ghost train ride. Jenny, however, felt a bizarre craving for ice cream and then decided to take a detour to get ice cream while John took their sons on the ghost train. After getting the ice creams, Jenny arrived at the ghost train ride to see smoke bellowing out of its entrance and theme park workers trying to evacuate visitors from the ride. Sadly, John, Damien, and Craig Godson as well as four other park visitors, would perish in the fire. Despite police and fire department investigations, claims of faulty wiring or even arson, the cause of the fire was never able to be established, and thus the case remained unsolved. Some speculation puts the blame on local biker gangs. However, no evidence has been substantial enough to take the case to court. Sometime after the incident, Jenny had the photos she had taken on her camera that day developed. The very last picture she had taken featured her son Damien standing very shyly next to a rather intimidating man wearing an almost demonic looking horned mask. Despite the efforts of many, this man has never been identified. He is definitely not a park worker, as Luna Park only really hires clowns in colorful and obvious outfits. Some people have made a connection between the man in the photo and Moloch, the old Canaanite god who was associated heavily with child sacrifice, in particular, though fire uh, through fire and war. 
Moloch is typically depicted as an idol with the body of a man and the head of a bull. And again, let's look at that photo. So, yeah. Another Reddit post. Uh, this one don't have as much, but yeah. Some people say it's not even looking sa satanic. Um, as the actual costume does not contain any parts of dead animals or anything like that. Um, and others uh, still say it is quite eerie. Uh, but yeah, you can find some information on the story in um, Reddit. Here's a Wikipedia article on the fire. It does not mention anything about Damien other than being one of the deceased. The actual date was on June the 9th of 1975 in the Luna Park in Sydney, Australia. So, yeah. The... Let's see, the ride was later moved to Milsom's Point along with other rides uh, in 1935. Okay. So they were then moved to Luna Park but before its actual opening in 1935. Um... But yeah, the fire broke out inside Luna Park Ghost Train at approximately 10.15 p.m. So this is late in the evening, um, in the early night. Due to a combination of low water pressure, understaffing within the park, and inadequate coverage of the ghost train by the park's fire hose system. The fire was able to completely consume the ride. It took an hour to bring the fire under control, but it was extinguished before any significant damage could be done to adjacent rides. So, around 35 people were believed to have been on the ride when thick smoke began to escape from the tunnel doors. Let's see. But yeah, information on the actual fire and investigations. Let's look at actual some uh, thoughts, though. This is from mamamia.com.au. So it's an Australian site. Uh... Okay, the ghost train ride. The ride was over 40 years old at the point of the accident. Around 10 p.m., one of group of friends noticed real flames coming from a fake fire about three quarters of the way through the ride. They finished the ride and left thinking nothing of it. The group through saw flames rising up the wall in that section of the ride. Then the screaming began. 
Within minutes, a huge section of the ride was engulfed in flames. And by the end of the night, six young boys and one father was dead. Two of the boys and the father was of the Godson family, of which the unusual picture we are talking about is of. And then they start talking about the Godson family. I see. On June the 9th, their final day in Sydney, they spent the day wandering around Taronga Zoo in the leafy North Shore suburb of Mossman. After their fun-filled day, they headed back into the city for dinner, but turning around and traveling back across the harbor toward Luna Park. While, wearing, while waiting at the circular quay for a ferry to take them across the harbor to Luna Park, the Godson family were approached by a man in the dress. They call him a satanic-looking figure in the article here. A man wearing a horned mask and a leopard print loincloth. The figure stood behind six-year-old Damien Godson placed his hand on his shoulder and someone took a photo. The family then boarded the ferry toward and headed towards Luna Park. So yeah. They talk about uh Linda Godson suddenly have a craving for ice cream, something at this point, Linda Godson was overcome with a craving for ice cream, something she didn't normally eat. So she told John and the boys to wait for her and she would meet up with them shortly. They ended up going without her anyway. She saw the smoke pouring out of the ghost train when she returned with her children and husband nowhere to see, be seen. <sighs> Let's see. It mentions other victims. <sighs> At the time, survivors spoke of seeing walls of flame at least four meters high surrounding them on the ghost train. The car nosed through the doors and we could see four meter flames all around us. Frank Jahasi told the Daily Telegraph. Let's see, a meter's somewhat approximate to a yard if you don't understand um, Uh, the whole meter system and everything. So, approximately three feet per meter. So, we're looking at 12 feet high. They Those were fairly good-sized flames they were seeing. Uh, let's see. While the newspapers at the time called him the luckiest boy alive, Holman tells Exposed that he's lived with terrible survivor's guilt for the past four decades, talking about the death of his friends. So, yeah. And we have one other article. This one is from uh, Medium.com. And actually covers the whole uh, story of who was this in the photo. And it 
again, covers the story of the park itself, what happened. Uh, they said, whilst the family were there, they encountered a busker, you know, someone who does things for money, a uh, performer, entertainer. So they were dressed in animal skins and great horned, with a great horned headdress. And the infamous photo of Damien Godson was snapped. With the horn man's arm around him, it was the last photo that would ever be taken of the boy. So, yeah. And again, this was right before they went to Luna Park. It was at the fair, uh, at the spot where the ferry would cross over to Luna Park. Now, there have been theories of an attempt to get uh, insurance. There have been theories of sabotage. But, yeah. Drinking Arizona iced tea. Not sponsored. Um... What is perhaps the most interesting theory revolves around the last photo taken of Damien Godson before he was tragically burned alive, the picture of the horned man. Uh, again, this is some people suggesting it may have been related to the Canaanite god Moloch. <sighs> so many are seeing it almost as if it was a sacrifice to Moloch. We don't know what happened, honestly. All we know is Damien Godson and his brother and father would die on the ride along with some uh, with a handful of other children. I think there were seven people all together, so that would have been three other children. And again, what we talked about with Moloch being that he takes sacrifices of children in fire. What is weird is, you know, we don't know anything about who this was. Nothing about this person has been found. He just came put a hand around Damien's shoulder for a picture. Seemed to show no evil intent. But it leaves a creep creepy image for what we know would happen. Who was this? And again, we know it's not freshly made animal skins or anything like that, as was said in one Reddit post, but to even have Someone dressed this way for the 1970s as an entertainer? I can't come to think of what kind of character they were meant to represent. It, it does leave many 
many questions out there. You look at cartoons of the late 70s, this is not anyone I could think of that comes to mind. Maybe someone, you know, might recognize what the character is seeming to represent. Comics or cartoons or something from the late 1970s. But it is creepy, and it's it's what happened. But I'll go ahead and end this episode here. I will put the links I've got in the description below the video. But, as always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.